Welcome back here to Don't Starve, Reign of Giants Tick this time. Yes, I'm back at the opening screen. If you saw last week's episode, you'll know that, well, I learned a few lessons. Let's put it that way. And as a result, Wilson's run up the curtains and joined the choir invisible. We're starting again, and I'm going to play Willow this time, and I have never, ever, ever played Willow before. In fact, Wilson is the only character I have ever played in Don't Star. So this should be interesting. Willow apparently is 20, she looks 6, and is a pyromaniac. Will set fire to things when stressed, which means you don't want her standing around your base when she is stressed out, just in case. And she gains sanity when standing near fires. Oh yes, and she doesn't take fire damage, which is going to be a good thing. And she starts with a lighter, so we don't need to make torches. Yay! This should be fun. Ooh, start with bonus carrots. Yay! He's such a nice chap, that Maxwell. Such a nice chap. Right, let's get ourselves gathering things. Because... Well, because... Oh, lots of flint. Well, one piece of flint, which is enough flint to be starting with, to be honest with you. So we'll grab that, and that will get us some trees. Well, we've got plenty of trees. I'll get some wood. It would be nice if I started using the English language properly. Yeah. You know what? That's one of those funny things. Now, I found this when uh, spending time in America. Now, the more I'm surrounded by Americans, the more I start to sound like I'm working for the BBC. And the more I start using Americanisms, the more I start saying them like this. And it just sounds weird. You know, this is an accent for using Calipigian instead of Bootilicious. And if you're wondering what Calipigian means, it means Bootilicious. If you're wondering what Bootilicious means, mind, it means Calipigian. Uh, right, okay, so enough of that. Right, so we've got a few starting resources, we've got a bit of food. Let's make ourselves an axe, get ourselves a bit of tree. That'll do. Let's see some nice big ones here. Oh, look, there's a rock, that will be useful. But I would rather get a gold veined one, to be, to be honest with you. Right, let's get. Well, I think to be totally honest with you, we'll get three, four trees. Let's get ourselves a decent stock of materials. And if we wear out this axe, we wear out this axe. We're not going to use it for anything else, really, at this point. Oh, she's a lumberjack. She's okay. She sleeps all night and she works all day. Oh, actually, that reminds me. Did you guys catch the news about poor Terry Jones? Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful man. Uh, yes, one of the one of the few remaining members of Monty Python has been diagnosed with dementia, and that's such a such a shame. Great, great guy, great comedian. Um, once said, you, you, you can't say we're going to uh, fight a war to eliminate terrorism. It's like saying that we're going to fight a war to stamp out mockery. And he's so, so right. Um, it's just the way the world is, unfortunately. There will be people with causes, and, and unfortunately that means there are idiots with causes as well. Mm. No, well. And on that happy note, let's move on to something funny instead. Uh, or not, I can just do silly voices. I'm good at that. Or bad at that. Entertainingly bad at that. Let's go with that. Okay, so. Right, we're coming up to evening. We got. Actually, we've got plenty of stuff, and there is some grassland up here, so let's have a, an investigate of that. Ooh, ponds. Lots of ponds. Excellent. Right, well, there's. 
one potential not naughty foodstuff, which is fantastic as far as I'm concerned. We can get fish and frog leg out of that. Oh, what's that? Frog legs. Ha ha ha! Sneak through here. It's beginning to look a lot like fishmen everywhere I go. Okay, perhaps that's not a place to settle down. But we got some frog legs out of it. We got some meat out of that. Uh, I can win it a bit. It's bacon. So yeah, I think we did all right there. To be honest with you, and I got to sing the song without Haley telling me off. I think we're going to do it again. It's beginning to look a lot like fishmen everywhere. Go away, mine. Oh. Those moles are annoying. Okay, it's sunset. We've got a ton of stuff here. This is actually a really good start. All I need now is to find some gold bearing rocks. I think we're off to a good beginning here. Right, so we've got food down there, except during winter. Perhaps a little bit more of an investigation around here might be a good idea. We've probably seen the fishermen because there's swamp nearby which isn't fantastic, but what we'll, we'll do is we'll follow the, the grasslands up here and see what's about. Uh, while I'm thinking about it, let's make ourselves a campfire and not use it, so that way I've got one to place down instantly. Instantly, just add water. Oh, I don't I'm, I'm not entirely certain what mood I'm in today, but it's a weird one. Uh, okay, right. No, it looks like we're ending one grassland biome here and going to another one. But that's good for us. Mm. Uh, it's perhaps not great, but I think what we'll do here is we will put down fire in just a minute get a few bits and pieces sorted out and then we'll rest for the night. So. Get it! Yeah, they should, they should allow you to see in the dark when you eat enough of them. Such a great idea, and the, the story is I have no idea how true this is. The story is that uh, the whole cat using carrots to be able to see in the dark thing was an invention uh, from yeah, you see, you stand next to the fire, and sanity goes up. You stand right in it, but it, it, it happens. There we go. Right, yes, the whole the story is that um, this was an invention from British intelligence agents uh, during World War II. After they invented um, radar, and they wanted to keep the secret of the fact that they had this machine that would allow, uh, allow people to see airplanes flying over at 20,000 feet. I don't know how true this is or not, but so the, what they did is they put around the rumor that sort of what they were doing was they were feeding people on the uh, lots and lots of cats and getting to the sea, uh, stand at the coast and look up at night to see the airplanes flying over, which is such a brilliant idea, isn't it? Yeah. Can you just imagine it? Eh, what's up, Doc? I just think I've seen a hankle fly. Oh, yeah, no, it's just yeah, brilliant, marvelous. Okay. How's our sanity going? Our sanity is back up to 120, which is as high as it's going to get with this character, I understand. I think the food only goes up to 120 as well. Um, just to show you know, sort of tentative grip on the what's it's of reality. Okay, right, that's pretty much what I'm going to do tonight. I uh, shall see you when the sun rises. Okay, all right. Welcome back, everyone. Apparently, we're gone for very long. 
Let's just a quick look at the map. Okay, I really liked it down here. There was a slight pigment infestation, uh, fishman infestation around there, but there's loads of food. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to follow the coast down, fill in this part, this part of the map, and explore a bit more around here. See, if there's a, uh, um, any gold bearing rocks or anything like that, and we'll see about settling down. Can't remember if I made the. Uh, uh, hairband before or after we cut out, so I'll assume I didn't and say, well, I made a hairband. Uh, a flower. A little punk rocker with flowers in her hair here. Let's grab some more trees. These ones are, are nice. The birch nuts you can use for planting more trees or eating. Quite useful in that respect. So, we'll come back down here, down the coast. Pick up a few trees on the way. Let's wear this axe out. Make a new one. Like that. You know, I could have sworn you used to have to use a science machine to make the the hammer. I might be wrong there. Little burrow there. I think you can dig moles out of them if I remember right. Okay, not doing much here. Ah, then we run into lots of yummy stuff. Of course we do. The game wants to make me a liar. Okay. Fruits. Lovely carrots. Oh, the better to see you with, my dear. Monday. I hope you all observed that most holiest of days. International Talk Like a Pirate Day. Yarr. Ha <laughs> uh, My usual profession is a type of development manager, computer development manager, called a Scrum Master. And what I will often do on talk on the direct day is make everybody do their stand ups talking like this. <laughs> and live streams tend to be fun on those days as well, and I so miss doing live streams, I've got to be honest with you. Right. <laughs> yeah, I would actually really quite like to settle down here. We've got so much good stuff around here. So if I can find a bit without. Too many fishmen. Uh, I, mean, I can always just armour up later on and finish the fishmen off myself, which is a, a distinct possibility. Take a hammer to their homes and they shouldn't come back. Where are we? Ah, oh, we haven't gone down as far as I thought. Okay, let's save all that stuff for Ron. Later run, get it? Later run. <laughs> People wonder why I'm single. Uh. Actually, I, I've got to be—I've got to be honest with you. It's, it's any anything I, I admire most about Andy is the fact that she's willing to be engaged to me and, and laughs at my jokes. She sometimes even laughs at them the fourteenth or fifteenth time I tell them to her. So yeah. Yeah, you know, that's that sort of that sort of tolerance and patience deserves a medal. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, besides, I got I got Haley to tell me off. And, uh, uh, if anyone's 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 wondering about her, she's she's still putting up a few videos on her website, but she has been terribly terribly tied up. Uh, with real life, sorry, I should finish that sentence, really, shouldn't I? Uh, she's been terribly, terribly pied up with real life, and as a result, as oh, let me make a fire. Uh, as a result, has not been able to record that much or live stream that much, and I know we will miss her, but uh, she will be around again soon and I'm sure she'll be telling me everything I do wrong 
while playing this game because yeah let's be honest that's what she does best and we all love her for it okay so we're back here it's not looking a lot like Fishman these days which totally ruins the song really doesn't it Let's just have a quick run around here. We're still looking for... I need gold, basically. Gold! I need gold um, to make a science engine and most of the early science stuff. So I can't really settle down until we find that. I'm sure there is gold in them there hills. Oh dear, I'm reading Wuthering Heights at the moment. I don't know if you guys have ever read that, but I find it incredibly hard not to go into a Yorkshire accent when talking as Mr. Heathcliff. It's it's just something about him that screams there's trouble up Tim Mills. Uh, uh, I'm talking to some people in Nottingham this week, which is a uh, it's a city in the East Midlands in the United Kingdom, and you know, I'm, I'm from Southampton. Uh, I'm from the New Forest. Uh, this is the part of the world where if you if you just walk south a couple of metres, you end up with wet feet. It's, you, know, it's you can't be any further south in the UK than where we be. Okay. Oh dear. Right. This is not good. Set that fire out. I want to put that down a little bit away from these guys. There. Yeah, brilliant. Okay. All right. I'm gonna f uh, feed up. Oh yes, to finish that antidote quickly. Yeah, that's um. Kept on stopping myself saying up north uh, because you know, for me, yeah, anything more than half a day's walk north is up north. To be honest with you, and uh, I know it slipped out at least once. And that's not good. All right. I shall see you when the sun rises again. Alright, hello and welcome back. You sort of know you, you're here. Whoa! You sort of know that you are here. We will probably want to get. Ooh, have that trap. We are probably going to want to get cogs off of you fairly soon. Right, we're on day three, so that's the last day of this particular episode and. Still, I think we struck pay dirt, or at least pay rock. So that looks like today's the day we're going to get gold. We'll go back and have another look at that uh, grassland area. I think I'll possibly do as a starting area. Uh, it's not great. Uh, it's lacking some important things like spiders and beefalo. Uh, oh, I don't want to think about it. Let's make a fire. Make a sound pickaxe. And let's decide what we want to throw away. Those can go. That can actually go. It's not great. And I think I want to keep the rest. Yeah. So. There's our first bit of gold. Uh, take some time here. we got plenty of time. Let's get as much of this as we can. And then we'll head back towards the end of the day. And we shall end this by making our base, I think. As I said, I'd, I'd be happier if I could find spiders nearby. Um, silk is, you know, sort of the tier 2 material that is the most important one to the... Okay, fair enough, tier 3. Two and a half. There you go, tier 2.5 materials. Oh dear, some people are so pedantic. And... Uh, you know, it's it's important that we have easy access to that. But that said, froggies, fishies, and bunnies all in one location—it's pretty good to me. And if we can find where the pig village is, 
that's somewhere to hide. Um, let's make another one. That's somewhere to hide if we need to when the dogs or that uh, deer clops comes around. Yeah, I learnt a lot fighting that deer clops. I think I know how I could beat it this time. There was definitely a pause. I think you could perhaps get two or three hits in and back away. I was relying too heavily on the armour I made because that was soaking up most of the damage. Problem was, of course, the moment the armour broke, my character died. So yeah, I think you can probably do two, maybe three hits, then run away, do some more, do some more. But i got to be honest with you, this character, I think I'm going to have to make her a fire staff as quickly as possible. Hopefully before the end of winter. Just seems like the right, right item for her, really, doesn't it? F fire. <laughs> yeah. It's like Ellen without the day, uh, the uh, the William fixation, isn't it? Uh, well, actually, with that that hair colour, it's 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 Wendy without the Damien fixation. Hello, Wendy. All right. So uh, where are we? Um, Is there any sort of hidden pockets of grass now we might want to look into? No, I don't think so. Right, we're going to go back up here. We'll probably set up base up here somewhere, I think. And we'll build ourselves a nice fire and a science engine. In fact, let's just build them like that. That way now we know we got them. And how are we doing for resources? Okay, we've got half a stack of rocks, that's not bad. Half a stack of grass, that's fine. We'll run away from that frog, that's good. Night is coming, I need f f fire. Right, uh, we'll put down those flowers and let them rot. Oh, look at all this. Ah. Uh, Frog's legs as far as the eye can see. Pig. Nice little cluster of rabbits there. Oh, this is looking good. Okay, right. This is going to be our base right here, I think. So let's get a fire out. Like that. Let's get our science engine out. And we'll put that there. Marvellous. And we shall immediately, if we can, back back. Oh, that feels good. Okay, and... Be mine. Not making myself another... Uh, I am not making myself another... Uh, boomerang until I learn how to catch the things. That was just embarrassing to be honest with you. Okay, rope. 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 And a log suit. Okay, we'll stick you there. And what do we need to make a spear? We've got everything we need. Excellent. Right, okay, so there we go. We're a little bit more little bit more tooled up like we are. Wonderful. Okay, gonna chuck that down there. Let that moulder and let's get ourselves something to eat. And I think that a little bit of a slow start, but I think that is it for the episode. Um I hope you guys uh are enjoying this and I hope you like the lovely willow. We'll be seeing some more of her, hopefully. Oh dear, running out of logs. Let's just chuck a couple of those in the fire. There we go, that'll see me through the night. Alright, next episode. It looks like we're going to be starting to build our base up anew. So, we'll pick up some grass and some twigs and cut down some trees and get all the basic bits and pieces put together. Crock pot would be great. Anything else, as far as I'm concerned, is just a bonus. Alright, so until then, I've been Simon Parsons. This has been Don't Starve.
Thank you, and good night.